If you've ever eaten a pea fresh from the garden, I don't have to convince you to grow peas in your garden. But today I'm going to share my top five reasons for growing peas in the garden. Before we get to that, if we haven't met before, my name is Angela Judd from Going in the Garden. I'm happy to partner with Garden Gate Magazine today to bring you this video. If you haven't read Garden Gate Magazine before, check it out. They're full, either online or in the magazine, it's full of great garden inspiration. So let's get to it. Five great reasons to grow peas in the garden. Here's some peas growing in my garden today. Does anything seem more like spring than fresh peas growing in the garden? There's so many reasons um, to grow peas. Um, the, one of the first reasons is you can plant peas earlier in the season than you can plant most other vegetables. It's often the first vegetable that you can plant in your garden. They tolerate cooler temperatures and even a light frost. So you plant them early and once they germinate, they, um, they don't mind the damp, kind of cool temperatures of spring. In fact, they don't like it too hot at all. So that's gonna be their best growing season. It's just in those spring, those cool spring, spring days is when peas like to grow the best. Second reason that I love growing peas in the garden is they're really simple to grow. They're not a lot of um, difficulty to growing peas. The first important thing to do is to pick a good variety, pick a good disease resistant variety of peas. So you have a good pea seed, once you've planted it, just give it water and it will grow. And then you also want to provide a trellis. You can see these peas kind of growing up this very tall trellis here. Peas like to grow up. They do best if you can provide a way for them to grow up and that keeps them off the ground and that helps. That helps the pea grow as well. So provide a trellis. And the next important thing about growing peas is you need to be sure and harvest them. You can see a lot of peas growing on this plant. You want to be sure as your pea is producing that you're harvesting. That brings me to my third favorite reason for growing um, peas. Almost every plant of the part of this pea plant is edible. Um, we all know, of course, the peas are edible. Um, we've eaten lots of peas, and even in some varieties, the pod is edible. Like, for example, in these sugar snap peas, the pod is edible. In snow peas, the pod is edible. But another edible part that some people may not know about is the, um, the shoot, the pea shoot. You can see one right here just waiting to be picked. You kind of look at the end of the pea plant and you'll see this little tendril coming out. And you follow that down and you can just harvest it right there. And this whole thing is um, the tendril, the leaves, the blossoms, a right? delicious addition to salads. Um, super yummy very edible and the more you pick it the more it grows that's actually my fourth reason that I love growing peas is the more you pick the peas um, the more it produces you um, with the tendrils and the peas and the um, the shoots and the peas it it wants to produce more if you don't pick those peas it's going to think that its job is done it um, it's produced seeds so it thinks okay I'm all done now but if you keep picking those peas then it signals to the plant that it needs to produce more and so then you have more shoots and more peas and it's definitely a win-win situation if you can keep those keep those peas picked um, the last reason I love to grow peas in the garden is um, they are actually part of a group of vegetables called nitrogen fixing um, plants. Most plants need nitrogen to grow, right? But peas are actually one of those group of vegetables, nitrogen fixing plants, that are able to take the nitrogen gas that's in the air all around us and convert it and store it in the roots. So now they're going to store that in the roots. They're not going to give it off um, necessarily as they're growing, but when they're done producing, when that pea plant has kind of reached the end of its cycle, when it's starting to heat up, or the plant is just kind of done, um, when it's time to harvest it is really when that um, ability of the pea plant shines. So when you're ready to pull out the plant, don't just pull it out. You wanna harvest the pea plant at the root and leave those roots. You wanna snip it at the root and leave those roots in the soil. And as those um, roots decompose, then that nitrogen will be absorbed back into the soil and it will be ready for the next plant to use. So the pea plant is amazing. Um, hopefully you've learned something new today. If I still haven't convinced you to grow peas in your garden, 
find a gardener, find a local grower, and uh, try a pea fresh from the garden, and that one bite will convince you, I'm sure. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Garden Gate Magazine for hosting, and I hope you get to spend some time in the garden today. Hi, I'm Sherry with Garden Gate Magazine. If you enjoyed that video, subscribe to our Garden Gate Magazine YouTube channel. You'll find tips, design ideas, how-to help for gardeners just like you. Be sure to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video.